Hello! So as you can tell by the title, this video will be answering all your questions. And there is a lot. But funny enough, it's only from two of you, which is quite amusing. So mainly they are regarding Jacob, James and exes. So before I start rambling, let's just get into it. So. This set of questions is from Jasmine Summers. So the first question is, does it ever bother you having the old videos with your ex up, especially the ones where you talk about marriage? No, doesn't bother me at all to be honest. I don't actively go and watch them and sort of reminisce. I just see that they're on my channel and I'm like, oh yeah, I can remember doing that. And since people have been commenting on them, then I'll sort of, watch them again and I'll just be like yeah okay I can remember that but no they don't bother me you know what I'm saying I'm thinking about taking some of the old videos down because even I cringe at some of them but no they don't really bother me and as for the ones where I talk about marriage again doesn't bother me he's engaged uh, no he's not he's married I'm getting married so no don't bother me at all how would you feel if any exes saw your videos? Again, wouldn't care. I've been completely open with all exes about everything that's ever happened, so the videos are nothing that they wouldn't know. Next question. Do I still want to be a singer? Yes and no. I do enjoy singing, but I haven't really done it in a long time apart from just like karaoke faffing with the television but I don't know I think if the if I was presented with an opportunity to do it then potentially but I'm not actively seeking it um, next question how's wedding planning going and when did you get your dress wedding planning is going amazingly well um, I'm making quite a lot of the stuff, so the invitations, the favour boxes, the confetti, the confetti boxes, etc, etc. I'm making all those and a lot of it is already made now, so it's pretty much just sit back and kind of relax for a while. And then eight weeks before the actual day, that's when we've got, got to go and speak to the photographer, videographer, venue, etc. And just do final details and what have you. Um, as for my dress, I got that, uh, I won't say about a month ago. I went with my friend, my best friend and bridesmaid, Amy. We went and I tried a couple on, but there wasn't a lot. And then I went with my mum about two weeks after and tried six dresses on, I think it was. And put one on and I was like, yeah, I like this. And the sales assistant actually said, if you saw somebody in this dress, would you want to go and punch them? I'm like, yes. And she said, then it's, it's the dress for you then. So I was like, right, sand, bag it up, we'll have it. So, yeah. And then that's being altered in September. No, it's not October. I think it's being altered it needs about 20 foot taken off the front because I'm really short and the dress is really long so yeah it needs, needs to be altered uh, next question how are you feeling uh, how are you finding dancing after the cesarean fine absolutely fine even though to be fair at the moment I've only been back at burlesque for four weeks this will be the fifth week come in so obviously with me being the instructor I can choose what routines to do so for the f past four weeks we've done very easy routines so I'm starting doing slightly harder ones as of this week but I know what my limits are and I know how to alter the routines to suit me so at the moment absolutely fine and I'm even doing personal training with my sister so getting stronger 
every week. Um, last question from Jasmine. How has James taken to being a dad? Honestly, like a duck to water. He is absolutely amazing with Jacob. I couldn't ask for anybody better. He was absolutely incredible when I was in labour. And since Jacob's been born, he has just been there constantly. Sometimes, yes, with his profession, he's on nights out. But even when he is, he's constantly texting me and making sure that we're both okay. He won't do two nights out on a bounce because this it just doesn't feel like it's fair. But as soon as he comes home from work, that's it, straight, straight to Jacob. Picks him up, cuddling him, feeds him, changes him. We both bath him together. And yeah, just perfect. He even took him out for the whole day just on his own the other day when they were getting wedding suits. So couldn't ask for anybody better. And if you can hear something creaking, it's my foot on the um on the leather settee. So it's not a weird noise, it's just my foot. Right, this next set of questions is from Emma Liddell. So first question Who does Jacob look like and do you think you'll have any more? He is James's double. Honest to God, his mum sent me a photograph of James when he was a baby. And they put it next to Jake. I keep pointing that way because the cot is behind the phone. And that's where Jacob is. Um, sent me a photo of James as a baby and I put it next to Jacob. And my God, you can't tell the difference. They are like twins. And the second part of the question... Excuse me. Um, do you think you'll have any more? Yes, we would love to have another one. But obviously, with having the cesarean, you are advised to leave it about two years bef before having a kid, another one, just so that everything's healed. But I would absolutely love to have a girl. But obviously, everybody wants one of each, don't they? But even if we had another one and it was another boy, then so be it still be loved so yeah but ideally I would love to have a girl uh, next question do you still talk to any exes Dan yes but purely because I work with him don't really text him socially he'll text me occasionally more so to see how Jacob is but generally, I don't tend to talk to him out of work. And I think if I left Cresta, I don't think I'd really ever speak to him again. And in all honesty, I don't really care if I'd speak to him or not. It, no detriment to me. As for Luke and Rob, no. Nope. Spoke to Luke a little bit during the first lockdown, but no. Nah. Rob, definitely not. He blocked me on everything. And really, I don't want to. Don't want to talk to him at all. If I ever saw any of them in the street, I'd just be like, eh. Or duck into the nearest shop. Next question. Are you returning to work? I hope so. But I have to give a written notice eight weeks before I want to go back, so... At the minute, that is still a long way off. But I'm hoping to. How did both families react when they found out about the pregnancy? They were both over the moon. Um, my mum cried. My dad had kind of figured it out because we took him for a meal and he was like, well, you're either pregnant or you're engaged. And I just went, well, do you see a ring? And he said, no. So it's the other one then, isn't it? Um, I think out of everybody, I think it was my grandma that was the most surprised. She was like, oh my God, wow. And my sister was over the moon because she's been bugging me for years saying, I want to use our nephew. And now she's got one. So yeah, she she was happy. And James's family, they were happy, even though it's grandbaby number 10. Still love him as though he's the first. So yeah, they were happy. 
Um, how are you finding being a mum? Absolutely love it. Love it, love it. Even when Jacob's having an off day and if he just won't settle, if he's crying or what have you. Yes, it breaks my heart to hear him cry. But I always know that I can try and settle him down and that I know that he's safe and he knows that he's safe with us. So yeah, can't wait to see what kind of little person he's going to grow into. Um, what's been a high and low point with being a mum? Um, highs, there's loads, just but just primarily just being his mum. Everything else is just amazing with it. Uh, as for lows, um, I now understand what people mean when they say that they lose their identity. I haven't lost my identity, but you do tend to not get ignored, but you sort of become their mum. You're not like I'm Jacob's mum. I'm not Lydia anymore. It's just oh, that's Jacob's mum. Like whenever we go anywhere or whenever we see anybody that we know, it's how's little one. That's the first question they ask. Not how are you doing. You're always second best, which has been hard to deal with. But. Again, it's it's fleeting. And thankfully, didn't go through really any postpartum depression or anything like that. Had off days, had days when just couldn't stop crying for no reason. But James was there with me. He calmed me down. And I'd sometimes be crying and he'd be like, are you okay? What are you crying for? And I'd be like, I don't know. And we'd just both end up laughing. So, but no, absolutely fine. Um, next one. Advice to new mums. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. The only major advice I can give is, especially when it comes to labour and birth, prepare for anything. Like, literally prepare for anything that could happen prepare for having a normal delivery prepare for having a cesarean prepare for having forceps or anything because if you psych yourself up that you could literally go through anything nothing's going to be a surprise because I'd psych myself up from 36 weeks I may have to have a cesarean because Jacob was breech when we said if he didn't turn I'd have to have a cesarean, so I'd psych myself up for that. And then when they said I could have him normally, I was like, oh, kind of don't want to now. But, and birthing plans, they don't always go to plan. They're good to have, but you need to be adaptable. Because my birthing plan was quite open. I put, I'd like a water birth if it's available. If not, then it's okay. But I said, the one thing I will not budge on is I want James there the whole time. And he was. And James even cut the cord after he was delivered. But, yeah, thankfully, my my birth time sort of stuck pretty much to what I wanted, apart from the unplanned cesarean but I said that I'll happily move positions I'll happily have different drugs if needed and yeah but yeah that's the best one I can give just be adaptable and plan for anything uh did I know that James was proposing I had a hunch I'd had a hunch when, well, to be fair, we'd been talking about marriage and what have you, 
soon after we met but then when we found out we were having Jacob we sort of was like well we kind of need to move in together and then marriage was obviously the next step but I didn't really know when or where it was going to happen but when he took me to Skeggy I thought ah he's going to propose at Christmas market and then he ended up proposing while we were in the hotel which was a complete surprise but definitely wouldn't have it any other way. Definitely not. And last question. Do you think you would have moved as fast if you hadn't got pregnant? No. No, definitely not. Jacob is the sole reason that we lived together so soon and that we're getting married so soon. Because we both said that we wanted to wait a little bit, save up money for a house, and then move in together when when we wanted to but no since obviously we found out Jacob we thought we'll do everything we'll do everything right so yeah definitely wouldn't have moved as fast so that is all the questions so if you have any more then by all means pop them in a comment and I'll leave the type a response or if there's enough I will do another Q&A but you can ask me literally any questions they don't have to be about Jacob they don't have to be about the wedding or exes or anything like that they can just be random questions so until the next video I will see you soon bye